And welcome back. My next guest has interviewed thousands of people on TV, radio, and the web with topics ranging from food to politics, finances, and to health. But one of the things he's most passionate about is empowering people to take charge of their own health care. Please help me welcome via Skype, Mark Allen. Thanks for being on the show. Oh, thanks. I okay. appreciate it. So the first question I wanted to ask you, why um, do you speak about you know, empowering, your, your health empowering? What, what, what gives you such passion to talk about that? Well, I've watched, my, I've watched my mother, for example, go through uh, uh, health care, and doctors would say, Betty, jump this high, and she would jump that high. Wouldn't ask why she was jumping, but she would jump. And I find that uh, seniors, people over 45 or 50, they do exactly what a doctor says. And I don't like that. I think that they should ask questions. Why should I jump, doctor? Why should I take that prescription? Why do I need to have that procedure? And people don't do that. So how did you become the spokesperson for people over 50? How did I? Mm -hmm. Appointed. Nobody else was doing it, and I decided there was a need. So I wrote myself a note. You're now the spokesperson for people over 50. And, and what is your health care background? I don't have a health care background. I'm a, I've been a host for 40, did I say 40 out loud? Yeah, you did. I thought <laughs> for about 40 years. I've interviewed, as you mentioned, thousands of people. And the way I got into the health, now, I've always talked about health and I've always talked about alternative health, but the way we concentrate on it now is very simple. Uh, I had a health issue about five years ago. My back went out and I was walking around like this. Wait, let me, like that. <laughs> and um, I went to my chiropractor, he popped me, I was fine. Two days later, it was back. The third or fourth time, my wife said, I want you to go to a doctor that I know. So I went to her doctor. And if you could imagine me lightly touching your back, just like that, he said, you screwed up your back. And I needed this guy with 12 years of medical school to tell me that my back was out. He offered me three choices. I took, I didn't take drugs, I didn't take uh, a shot, I took physical therapy. And after four or five visits, uh, my insurance company, bless their little black hearts, canceled it. They said, no, we're not going to accept it. And I was furious. And about that time, a friend of mine, who's now my uh, producer, uh, uh, the insane Daryl Wayne, for those in the Southern California area will know him, he offered me a radio show. And he said, um, what would you like to do if you go back on radio? And I said, I want to do a show empowering people to take charge of their health care. And that's what we've been doing with over five, almost 500 hours of quality content, uh, ranging from energy healing to the latest in oncology. Mm, that's terrific. I mean, I hear so much on the news about GMOs and organics. Um, can you maybe give us a little I can I can give you my opinion yes and for the last uh, three years uh, I have been going to Washington DC with the Natural Products Association mm -hmm. out of there a, a, a group that um, that represents not only manufacturers but in my opinion the NPA represents the people of America, giving them a choice to take supplements. Do you take supplements in the morning, vitamins? I do. I take a multivitamin every single day. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So you've got a multivitamin. I take a multivitamin. I take a vitamin D. I take a vitamin B12 now. It, it just, and a variety of things. Frankly, big pharma is trying to take those away. Anyway, uh, from, from the American people, the GMO issue, um, I've been talking about that for the last couple of years, lobbying Congress, congressional leaders, to take a look at GMO labeling. We lost. I, we do not know if a tomato is genetically modified or not. I want to know. Right. There's too many studies out there to show me if 
there is a tomato that is genetically modified, there could potentially be problems. Some people are allergic. They have reactions to these products. So, you know, I try to stay away from genetically modified organisms. Okay. So we have about a, a minute or so left. Uh, tell me a little bit about what is Late Night Health all about? Late Night Health is a radio station, a radio station, a radio show <laughs> that uh, I host. Uh, LateNightHealth.com is the easiest way to find it, LateNightHealth.com. We talk about health and empowering people from anything from homeopathic uh, products. You can see products behind me. There's a diet product. There's a green supplement product. Uh, there are. We interview authors. We interview leading edge, cutting leading edge people on a variety of health topics uh, from, as I said, energy healing, which I do not understand. I've had it. Right. I don't get it, but it makes me feel good. Hmm. And uh, to homeopathic, uh, we have a homeopathic doctor. All right. As well. well, Mark, unfortunately, I have to cut you off because we have we're running out of time. So I thank you so much for being on the show. Good luck to you, and I'll catch you on the airwaves, okay? You got it. All right. Good thank luck. you, Mark. All Thanks. right. Speaking of taking charge of your health, one way to do that is by taking a closer look at the foods we eat. I had some great ways to do just that with the founder of Eat Your Way to Wellness when healthy lifestyle returns after the break.